Okay, so let's bring out something about this coronavirus. You know, I got a mask right here. You know, and then I had a guy, uh, one of my friends, Willie, come by um, yesterday. So we were talking about it. <laughs> He's just like, you know, what we're talking about was, uh, you know, it's kind of weird because, you know, he's like, well, all the masks are made in China, the, you know, the mask, you know. So I'm kind of like, hmm, the masks are made in China. So what are you saying? He's like, well, you know, when you're trying to get away from the coronavirus, and, um, but if you're getting a mask, uh, they were made in China. So maybe that's a kind of connection from one place to the other. And now my logical mind says, well, gee, that's, come on, man, you know. Uh, what's the possibility of that? You know, what would be the ratio of actually getting infected by having a mask made in China? But then there's that little thing in the back of your head that, um, <laughs> you know, it's like a little paranoia thing that's saying, well, hmm, maybe I should be a little bit more wise. So then we're kind of stuck in this bizarre contradiction. Well, if you wear a mask and it was made from China, does that mean that um, I'm increasing my chance of being affected by uh, coronavirus? You know? So uh, it's kind of weird. The reason why I bring it up is because um, uh, they, I have a, there's a large Asian population that's in our um, in our in our city of Chicago. You know, great people, man. You know what I mean? But I'm starting to see a little bit of that this growing um, a little bit of a fearful disenfranchising of Asian people because uh, it's it's bordering on prejudice now because they're, they're well, gee whiz, you know, if they're Asian, that means I'm going to get. Um, I might get the coronavirus. Well, no, that's not true. But it is smart to stay away from people that were in Wuhan. Yeah, of course, you know, you want to do that. But on the other hand, you don't want to have, um, you don't want it to become something where you're going to have some kind of cultural, um, uh, <laughs> some kind of ensuing cultural prejudice where, you know, you're just afraid of Asian people or, or disliking Asian people because of, of the coronavirus. You know, I mean, you don't want to have that uh, come about. It's unfair and it's actually stupid. Don't do that. You know, uh, the coronavirus is, if anything, you should have some sympathy for, for out there in China and what have you, because uh, they're the ones who are suffering from it now. And right now it's at the point where it's getting, you know, it's at that horror movie point, you know, where you see all these science fiction movies like, you know, The Stand and, you know, Captain Trips or, uh, you know, Contagion, you know, where you see kind of art imitating life. They're, they're living, uh, it's not good, man. You know, they're, they're taking people off the streets and, uh, you know, they're, they're locking people in their homes, you know, you know, their government will, are reacting in ways that maybe our, hopefully our government won't react, you know, you know, and of course, you know, for people like me, we're always scared of if it's going to turn out like the Spanish, like the 1918 Spanish flu, and it had a particular impact in my um, family lineage, so uh, that was horrific, that was, you know, unbelievable, you know, it's like, um, yeah. Science fiction zone, you know, apocalyptic science fiction zone when it comes to the coronavirus there. So basically, uh, we got to remain civil without panicking or, you know, or hating a particular group of people that people might go, oh, well, gee, they're, they're the ones that are responsible for it. They're not responsible for it, man. You know, it's just something that happened, you know. So we something we got to try to remain our civility. We have to try to keep our civility intact. You know, but even on an everyday basis, like even me, you know, I hear all these little things and I kind of laugh and joke about it, but they're kind of in the back of my head, man. You know what I mean? We can't let this coronavirus thing, uh, you know, tear us apart.